Yeah. You see the duck we told you where he got him out. Fish come right out of these thick pads, eight feet in there. Yeah. Oh goodness. Yeah, you got these one there now, don't you? Yeah. Bring him to the swamp. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Him. Holy smoke! Man, throw, I mean, kind of like what you've been doing, right? Throwing, throwing up. He, he, he was, was right on logs. He was on the other side of a log. Came from that that kind of slop right there. Yep. He came in out of there. Man. And that sucker we're gonna weigh him, see how heavy he is. But wow, look at that beast of an animal. Four point two one. Bite. Same time, a UFO just blew me out of. Oh. <laughs> How about that, huh? Wow! <laughs> wow! I need to pay closer attention. What in the world? Yep. Who says fishing ain't contact sport? Hot and muggy. Hot and muggy is really the best weather for flipping this junk, like Jeremy and I. Let me show you my setup real quick. Today I'm using a one ounce weight. I know Jeremy's using a one ounce weight as well. I want you to know that bobber stop there. Call it a bobber stop, but they're called weight stoppers. You name it, because they're made for flipping like we're doing today now. Uh, but it is tr uh, basically a traditional bobber stop that you might've used when you were a kid. Same idea. Uh, if you want to adjust it, you certainly can. But I uh, showed you earlier, that snell knot is real important. Set that hook. That's gonna go to the top of their mouth. I hope so. And one ounce weight was important. I mean, traditionally you want to use the lightest weight as you can to get away with it. still getting through the stuff or punching the stuff and one ounce seemed to be what we needed to do a minimum to get through the thick stuff today. Use an assortment of baits. I mean, honestly, today I've used an assortment of baits. Uh, I'll show you the two I've used more than any other. I've used it's called Bug, The Bug by Pro Point Fishing Lures. Um, and also four and a quarter inch crawdad by Butcher's Baits. Uh, I really like a profile that's narrow here that'll punch through the surface easily and then really undulate on down. And both of these baits do that because if you got this area kind of clear of appendages and such, it'll slip through that slop a lot more easily. What's not uncommon to what we experienced today is that we went through an area had a couple, had a couple, and then came back through it later when it was warmer and the bite was much better. Oh! Woo! That's, that's, why, that's why you use 50 pound braid and a seven and a half foot medium, medium heavy action rod. See how it's hooked on top there? So, a whole key to that. Uh oh, poor guy. Got him? Yes, you do. Oh, gosh. It's a nice toad. Nice bass. So, he come right off that lay down, right? Right on the other side of that log. Right on the other side of that lay down with the, the duck weed and the submerged weeds. Have you ever shared? Right on, the, right on the surface, dude. Oh man, that's so cool. Small fish, but dude, as soon as it hit the water, I saw him. He just destroyed it. Right out of the pads. Punching, flipping. Unfortunate part. You better get ready or prepare yourself mentally. You're most likely going to miss one or two. My guess is we are right in the middle of the pack. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, that was such a oh big my one. gosh. Dude, that was so big. That was huge. Huge, get back here by these pads. And always, when you're fishing slop like this, get next to these pads. That's a good place to be. Nah, that's that was, big. Now that was my bad. He he pulled down a couple times. I waited too long. I wasn't sure if I was over another stump or whether I was that was a fish. So you're saying we cooked set? We cooked set. Hundred percent. We cooked set. Oh. 
Oh yeah. Gosh darn it. Jeez oh, Louise. I don't know. He's stuck in the wood. Doggone. I'm telling you he was at least nine pounds. It's, I mean, nice flash. At least nine pounds. Well, uh, I mean, you nailed it earlier, right? We're throwing one ounce weights, heavier. I mean, it's, what is this, August? Yeah, it's uh, August. Hot, there's, there's muggy. There's dump weed everywhere, lots of, uh, lots of vegetation. But the thing I feel like that's been the key to this has been finding wood. Yeah. Flipping the most, maybe the most uh, hardest points to flip to have yielded the best fish. Links to all my social media are below. Please give me a follow. Until next time, we'll see you on the water.